Hello, and welcome to a brief directives tutorial. A directive is run before the rest of the code in a program, and you will see by the nature of directives that they need to be run first. The first directive is the RN directive. This directive is used to rename a register to a more user-friendly name. For example, you can rename a register R3 to subtraction results if you use that register for subtraction results all the time. It is important to note that when giving a name to a register, you make sure that name is meaningful because you cannot continuously rename your registers in your program. This is because the RN directive is evaluated before your program is compiled. What this does is it essentially looks for the name you give a register and then replaces it with the actual register value upon compile time. This just makes your program easier to read. The function or proc directives can be used as labels to branch to inside your program and also allow you to segment your program, which makes it easier to read. The EQU directive or equate is very useful. Much like the rename register directive, this allows you to apply a user-friendly name to a constant value. This is especially useful when you have to deal with a hex value over and over again. For example, the memory address of a very important location, such as the input-output pin manipulation or control register. This can also be used for simple numbers, and you can even add them together, which allows you to apply offsets. DCD is an interesting directive. From the ARM manual, it states that it allows you to initialize location memory, apply a user-friendly name to that location, and then initialize some value in that location. This is fantastic if you want to store data for later use and then retrieve them, all while using meaningful names. During my tests for this video, I found that I was able to create these memory locations, but I was unable to successfully initialize the values in these locations. I did fix this by writing to them, but this isn't what I was looking for or what is stated in the ARM manual. Assert is a debug directive and it allows you to break your code if the logical statement you apply to it becomes false. These should be removed in your final program. Align is a useful directive to have throughout your code. There is really no bad place to put an align except for after the end of your program. This directive simply aligns you with the nearest 4-byte boundary and keeps you in line as you move through your program. You just have to run it every so often to make sure you keep in line. Area is another useful directive. It allows you to name sections of your code and then state what that section is for. There are two types of sections, code and data. Code is usually used for the main section of your program that will be running. Data is usually used for the equate or EQU directive as well as the DCD directive. As you can probably guess, this is where you declare all of your constants and variables. You can also specify whether you want that section to be read-write or read-only. Usually you would have your main code be read-only as well as your constants be read-only. Then you would have your variables be under the read-write section. It is also important to note that you have to use bars around any name of a section that does not begin with a letter. Here is a short directives example. I will go through it line by line. Preserve 8 appears at the top of most of my programs. It simply specifies that you want a word to be 8 bits. The next line specifies that you are coding in thumb. Here are some of the directives that I talked about. As you can see, I rename R7, R6, and R5 to ADDR register, data register 2, and data register 1. I then use an EQU statement to specify the initial main stack pointer location. I use an area directive to specify a location called reset. This location is data and it is read only. The next lines are used to get the program functioning. Do not worry about them right now but you do need them in order to get your program to work. As you can see, I export the initial main stack pointer as well as the reset handler. I then use an align directive to make sure that I am still aligned in memory. I then use another area directive, this time using a dot data name. This area is also data, but this time it is read write because I will be using it to store variables. As you can see, I use the dcd command to initialize variable 1 or var 1 
variable 2, or var2. Each of these is 2 bytes wide and should have an initial value of 0. Again, just to be sure I'm aligned in memory, I use another align directive. I use another area command, this time named doc text, also surrounded in bars, although this time it is code and read only. This is the start of the actual program that will be running. I then export the reset handler, again something you don't need to worry about at this time, and then state entry. This entry directive is used simply to specify that you are starting your main program. I did not waste time talking about it in the original video because that is all it does. It simply specifies the start of your running code. I then have a reset handler label which will be used in the event of a reset. Here's where you can see the proc directive. I use it to specify the start of my main program as well as where it will loop back to upon completion. I then use the LDR function to load the memory address of var2 into the address register that I specified above. As you can see, this is a lot more readable than using R2 and some hex number. It is important to note that in order to get the actual memory address of var2, you have to put an equal sign before it. I then move the value of 5 into register 8, and then I store the value in register 8 in this case 5, into the memory address pointed to by ADDR register, in this case the memory address of variable 2. So at the end of this section, variable 2 memory address will contain a 5. I then repeat the process using the variable 1 memory location. Next, I load the memory address of variable 2 into the ADDR register, and then I load the value contained in variable 2 into the data register. I then repeat this process process for variable 1. I then add the value stored in data register 1 and data register 2 together and store the result into the register R0. Just to be sure, I load the memory address of var1 back into the ADDR register even though it should still be there. And then I store the value contained in R0 into the variable 1 memory location. I then load that value back out of the variable 1 memory location into the register 4 to confirm that I have indeed saved it. I then use a simple assert directive to see if 1 is less than 2, in which case this is true, and then proceed to loop back to the main label at the top of my program. I then have the accompanying NP directive to match the proc at the top of my program. I once more align my memory and then I end my program. I have read that using the dot data and dot text area directives is convention and so I have put them in this program. Here is the example running.